I'm the camera crafter and this is my latest camera that I've bought. This is an Aggie Lux Aggie Matic 35mm rangefinder camera. Um, yeah, it takes 35mm film. Uh, I'll just show you how the rangefinder works. In there, there is a little dot that's sort of orange. What you do is you line, you focus it so it's the image in the in the little dot lines up with the um, image on the rest of the viewfinder. And the way you change the uh, focus in the rangefinder is with this little wheel here. And then whatever focus distance it says on here, you put onto the focusing ring here. Uh, it has different shutter speeds from 350 to brief. And this comes interesting because this lever here isn't just the shutter, it's also the film winder. Um, I just opened up the back of it. Yeah, here's the inside. You have the pressure plate. So what you do is you put the cartridge in here bring the film across onto this then you put the pressure plate down and put the back uh, back on oh, a yeah. um, this also can take different lenses Although there's only one other type of lens, which is a telephoto zoom lens. Uh, I'll go put that back on. Come on, go back on. Hold on a minute. Uh, how do I do this? There we go. Um, it's this camera's from the 1950s. And it was made in Croydon. This here is the rewind lever. Um, hot shoe for the flash, some calculator thing. And it came with this, which is a photocopy of the instruction manual. Um, yeah, as you can see, you could get accessories for it, which this didn't come with. This cost me, this is one of the most expensive cameras in my collection, it cost me a grand total of £40. And I've been saving up for this for a little while now. So yeah, this is a little short update video on my latest purchase which is an agimatic rangefinder camera from the 1950s so yeah i'm the camera crafter and goodbye